Hey guys, Alex here. Just wanted to touch in with a little Cubase tip that's really helped me and improved my workflow. It's called track versions. Let's head in. Okay, this is a track I've been working on. We're gonna deconstruct it later on in the year. It goes a little something like this. So we'll be getting to know this track a lot better later on in the year. But so here I have three different um, channels with one bit of MIDI on it, okay? <clears throat> and that's just one bar of MIDI duplicated across those three channels. Now say I wanted to, to audition or try out a different melody. So what I tend to do previously was I'd take this MIDI here and I'd sort of drop it into the into the barren wasteland of this this whole part of the screen, um, and I'd probably forget about it. And I'd I'd make my my tweaks to the MIDI here. And if I want to then go back and and think, you know what, I prefer the original. I just come back over here if I even remembered it was there. Or I might, for instance, start a new MIDI track, and then just dump this over here and mute it and then what happens after a while as I'm sure you all know is that you end up with a screen full of muted parts little variations of ideas which we rarely end up actually using um, and things can get very messy very quickly with track versions has completely changed all that <clears throat> so if you look on the left hand side of any channel audio or MIDI in Cubase you have this track versions thing and I've already added a, a few different track versions if I come over here to, to track version 2 this is a different bit of MIDI but the channel remains the same same channel same processing even even the automation remains now I'm gonna come back to track version 1 And it simply allows me to flick between those two bits of MIDI in quick fire and try out different ideas. Or for instance, you know, uh, maybe I'll, I'll have an idea that I want to reference later on. Um, maybe I want to have a quick stab at something new. And the cool thing is, is that if you add track versions to multiple tracks at the same time, then you can actually flick through them in quick fire just like this. So I added a new track version to all three of these channels. And now with no keyboard shortcuts, I can just flick between these different ideas. So it's a great way to quickly audition ideas without having to create extra tracks or bounce MIDI around. It's also really handy if you, for instance, want to check out different bass lines. So I've got my main bass line here. But now let's say that I wanted to try a different bass sample. So I'm currently using the Vertex bass, but I've built up a second track version. Same channel, same processing, same everything, but it's got a different sample on it. And now I can do a quick compare. Or I could have the same bass sample but with a, a different rhythmic pattern on it or different notes. And I could flick quickly between them without having to duplicate or make new channels or, or anything like that. Um, just boom, quick compare. Let's say for instance that you have 10 different channels of percussion. There might be a top loop that you, you can't decide between say top loop one and top loop two. So you could have the top loop channel and then you could have those different top loops on different track versions and you could keep flicking between them before you settle on the final one. I also do a lot of drum recording. So in, in drum recording, you'll have for instance, eight microphones pointed at a drum kit and you might do anywhere from two to 30 takes. Previously, what I would have been doing is actually had uh, eight channels for, say, each one of the microphones, kick, snare, overhead, left, overhead, right, etc. And then for the next take, I'd, I'd duplicate those eight channels and put those in a new folder. And so what I'd end up with is 
say 30 different folders of channels um, and if I wanted to, to compare takes I'd be flicking between different folders Tr with track versions I can have just eight channels and put each take on a different track version and then what you can even do is cut and copy little bits from different track versions and paste that into one master track version for instance let's come back here to our MIDI here say for instance I wanted to have a bit of this MIDI in a final version so what I could do is from this track version I'll just copy this and I'll start a new version and I'll call this master comp and I'll paste that and then I'll come into this second track version and say maybe I'll grab this MIDI I'll copy that paste it and now I've got this master track version which has a comp of all our favorite ideas. So you could just take little bits from all the track versions you have. So guys, that's track versions. It's been very hel helpful for me as a Cubase user. I hope it can be as helpful for you. Have a great day and keep on walking. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.